Hey, how's it going? I'm Les Cookson. Maybe you just saw me pitching my Lucy drawing tool in Shark Tank. Maybe you saw me 11 years ago pitching the Carsick bit. Part of the uh, very exclusive group of people who have been on Shark Tank twice and the arc between season two and season 13. Um, I have a lot to say about that in terms of giving advice to entrepreneurs and um, some encouragement here. And I want to... Um, speak from experience and I want, there's so many people out there peddling platitudes about business. But I, I just wanna make some advice, give you some advice that sounds like a platitude, but I wanna give some real life, exam real life examples here in terms of this, don't be afraid of failure. Um, there's the platitude, but let me elaborate to unplatitudize that, that, that saying. Um, economic failure, in terms of you know losing tons of money. Um, <laughs> Uh, sac like sacrificing your family's future, your kid's college. Be afraid of that. Mitigate that risk by not being stupid. Don't invest a ton of money into something until you know that it's, it can be, until you have some sort of proof or some sort of evidence that it's going, it can be successful. At some point, there may be an economic jump to make, but that's not the first thing you do. Do not jump right into it. You need to create the minimum viable product um, don't jump right into expensive patenting. There are patent attorneys who will take all of your money and give you useless patents on stupid products that won't make any money. Don't do that. You can start by writing your own provisional patent. It gives you a year to be able to see if the product is viable and useful and you can make some money out of it before you have to dump money into it. Don't be stupid. Mitigate your risk of, of economic failure by making you know good, sound decisions. But I want to speak to more is to, is, um, to not be afraid of personal failure, as if you're a failure if your business doesn't succeed. Um, oftentimes, the mistakes in both these, in terms of economic and personal failure, being afraid of economic and personal failure, comes from the same mistake of, of not being able to separate yourself from your product or from your business. That people who make bad economic decisions are often too emotionally connected to their product and they can't, they're not making good, wise business decisions, they're making economic, they're making emotional decisions. And the same with being afraid to fail is that you're is that you think that if your your business or your product isn't successful that you're not successful you're not um, that you're a failure personally. You need to be able to 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 separate those two things and be able to allow yourself to fail and learn from those failures to take the invention or the business that didn't work behind a barn and shoot it. Take what you learned and apply that to something new and then grow that. And don't be afraid of putting yourself out there and being seen as a failure because that failure, I mean, people spend money at going to business college and, and, and learning about economics and business. You want to actually learn about business, start a business, fail at a business. You'll learn more than you will at any business school and not to disparage people who go to business school. I mean, entrepreneurs who start a business still need to hire someone, but don't be afraid that um, of the failure that's going to lead you to where it's going to give you the success and the tools you, that you need to move forward. In order to succeed, you have to risk failure. In order to get to your success, oftentimes you have to go through failure multiple times to learn as you go. And there's, there's really not that much you need to worry about because there's a natural economic mechanism that is going to prevent people from finding out about your failures. And that's the fact that if your business fails, that probably means nobody heard about it and, and, and that nobody's really gonna know about it anyways. And so you don't really have to worry about being on, you know, in front of millions of people with uh, a, a barf bib invention that doesn't succeed in being, you know, being humiliated in that way. First of all, for me, I didn't really care. It wasn't that big a deal. It's just, most people just thought it was cool. I was on TV. But for yourself, like it's very rare that people find out about unsuccessful businesses because they were unsuccessful and no one found out about them. You're mostly worried about your friends and your family and being perceived as a failure, but you have to just move past that. You have to just forget about that. You have to just, if you have an idea, be smart. There's a reason, there's good reason to, to, to fear economic failure. You to be smart and not and make wise business decisions, don't make emotional decisions. But in terms of, 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 uh, of failure um, with a business and just being perceived that, that your business didn't do well, where, your failures as a badge of honor. That's why I'm wearing this shirt right now because this was something I think it's hilarious. I love, you know, I um, this uh, uh, the car. You know, it looks funny. I like it. Um, it, but it reminds me that like a failed business is as good can be as good as a business degree if you can take what you learned from that and apply it to something new. So there's been a lot that I've done in between 
pitching a bar fib in uh, season two and then coming back with the successful Lucy drawing tool in season 13. But what got me from A to B is failing, taking what I learned from those failures and then, and then moving forward and applying that to something new. And you need to allow yourself to be able to have a few bad ideas and learn from them until you find something that's gonna work for you. And maybe you'll succeed and maybe you won't, but you know that you'll never regret having not tried.